Michael Dune, <laughs> yikes for Ubisoft right now. As vice president of Rainbow Six, Cameron Lee has left Ubisoft. Ooh. Tom Henderson over at Insider Gaming. The vice, vice president of the Rainbow Six franchise, Cameron Lee, has left the franchise and Ubisoft. Cameron Lee joined the Rainbow Six brand in April of 2022 after working as vice president of production at Activision, but had previously had over 20 years of experience as a producer, manager, and VP at companies including EA, Bungie, and Bioware, and has worked on such franchises as Tony Hawk, Call of Duty, and Dragon Age. Following the announcement to join the Rainbow Six franchise, Ubisoft said that Lee, quote, will be responsible for creating the long-term brand strategy for the Rainbow Six franchise and aligning and collaborating with all internal partners, end quote. It's unclear why Lee decided to leave the franchise and the company, but an internal email sent to staff reads, quote, for the time being, the role of VP and executive producer for the Rainbow Six brand will not be replaced, mm. end quote quote michael what just happened that last part is maybe the most telling right there right because usually something happens someone will step down we'll get an interim or we'll at least you know hey we're, we're looking to replace the real soon the fact that it's not being replaced this to me i mean we've talked about it a lot of time right there are a lot of red flags going on at ubisoft right now from the star wars outlaw issues the assassin's creed delays this is another massive one, right? Because this is a game that should be in its own stratosphere, right? Rainbow Six shouldn't be affected by Star Wars Outlaw. It's a completely different game. Shouldn't be affected by the Assassin's Creed delays. Maybe hurt a little bit by the tanking stock prices. But yeah, in fact, you're not even going to replace the VP who's supposed to be creating a long-term brand strategy. It, are we seeing the death of Ubisoft in real time? Like, Is this oh. truly... like, Are we watching oh. this company just start crumble. to slowly crumble and capsize and by 2026 2027 this company is fully dissolved i it's too big to make me want to think that but when you're not replacing someone in charge of one of your bigger games that to me is a massive concern dude this is the biggest live service game ubisoft has rainbow six siege pumps out millions of dollars millions of players every month mm -hmm. it is one of the go-to shooters in our industry whether you play it or not it is a huge game the numbers bringing in there are pretty good so the fact that they are not replacing the v the vp is very concerning what is the, then who's guiding the ship dude i don't even think at this point eves gilmore the ceo of the company is guiding his own ship i think that company is thinking they need to figure things out, and I hope they do it soon. I know the board members right now are looking at Eves Gilmore and going, hey, like, figure this out. What are you doing? There's a lot of concerns going in here. And I can see, here's what I'm thinking, and here's my prediction. Ubisoft sells. Ooh. I think Ubisoft is going to sell out sooner than later. They're getting in a lot of hot water. Somebody's going to come in and sweep, sweep in. Probably lowball the company just because of the garbage truck on fire situation right now with ubisoft and then buy them all up and get them out and then eves is gone i think that's the biggest thing i think eves gilmore is looking to get out he's dude the guy can definitely retire like there's no doubt about that so i think he's got the time to spare and then just get out what you can and let somebody else run the ship and figure it out because right now ubisoft is just dude they're sinking like it's just they're sinking company and i don't understand what they're doing because they've had such a long legacy of huge hits that i don't i just don't want to see them screw it all up 